Hi vlog. Yeah, it's not <laughs> one moment. Luke, come. Luke starting his Monday by cleaning up cat shit. We're <laughs> we're all feeling so good today. I want to be dead a little bit, just a, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. I got home from Jodie and Luke's and immediately slept most of the day. I'm so tired. I didn't get to bed till really late. Um, but now I'm reading, and because I've slept so much, it's now coming up on 10 p.m. and I'm not going to be tired to sleep and I'm working at 8.30, so I messed my sleeping pattern again, but who is shocked? No one. Good morning, vlog. I am at work, but I just realised I look like a corpse. I have a feeling it's going to be a very boring week for the vlog, and I apologise in advance. Because I'm at work a lot, and I don't think I'll be socialising a lot, so... Yay. This outfit is such a hard sleigh. I feel so Taylor Swift. Hello, hello. I am now home from work. I'm working tomorrow again at 8.30, just like this morning, so another early start tomorrow, so I'm going to just sit and read this evening. And I read Broken Hearts and Zombie Parts last week, in last week's vlog, and this week I'm reading another book by the same author, but a very different book. I'm reading Killing Jericho, which is also by William Hussey. It's the first in his new series um, of crime novels about a traveller detective who is queer, um, and he currently he's solving some very suspicious murders all centering around the fairground that he works at and his family heritage. And I'm really enjoying it so far, so I'm reading this. I got approved for it on NetGalley, which is what I'm reading on, which is why it's digital, because I didn't get a physical proof. Does it say when it comes out? April. It comes out in April, so enjoying it. Maybe I'll finish it tonight. I'll keep you updated. A little late night update, I'm 250 pages into Killing Jericho, got about 100 pages to go, probably will finish it tonight, even though I'm working tomorrow. And it's so good, I don't read, like, main character detective-driven crime novels a lot anymore, I used to more so, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, the main character the detective, Scott Jericho, is a traveller and gay, um, so it's a way more, like, modern crime novel than, like, I think crime as a genre gets a lot of slack for being, like, anti-progressive, um, really dominated by, like, old white men with cigarettes and two-dimensional women who accompany them to solve their crimes, um, because of how the crime genre started, and this is, like, a really modern take on that genre, and it's gonna be a series, so, good stuff. Update, I finished the book. Um, my full review will be on my Instagram for books, which is Aaron's reading list, but it was so good. I don't care about detective series novels usually. I love a crime novel, but never anything that's like a detective series, because I find that a lot of them just fall into like the white man crime genre that's just what I described earlier, but this one was brilliant. So that's a slay, and now I'm working with it early in the morning and I've got a mad day ahead. Play. Good morning vlog. I'm at work. Two school visits to do today. Running the kids section is so fun. I'm so tired. But that's what you get when you start reading a book. So that's like self-inflicted pain. I'll keep you informed. Six shifts to go. You know when I said, oh my god, I think this is going to be a boring week for the vlog. This is what I meant. My entire week's going to look like this. I went to work and now I'm home. Um, I'm going to have a bath probably. Ooh, let me set up my camera properly. I do have something cool to show you. Ugh. So for those of you that somehow don't know this, Daisy Jones and the Six is a novel by Taylor Jenkins Reid about a fictional band called Daisy Jones and the Six who had a meteoric rise to fame and then a catastrophic breakup. And the book is fantastic. And there's an adaptation coming out this week on Friday. The first three episodes come out on Friday. Um, this is the TV tie-in cover of the book. And I bought this just because it's good. This is a good TV tie-in cover. And I have the ugly version of Daisy Jones and the Six on my shelf over there. So this is like a nice palette cleanser. But that's not what this is about. This is about what we got sent at work today from the publisher. To celebrate the book, we got sent some really cool goodies to go with the new TV tie-in cover. I'll show you the less impressive ones first. This is a bookmark that looks like a ticket to a Daisy Jones and the Six world tour that does not exist. It even says like Waterstones Arena on it. And like, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, there you go. These are like real, I could rip these off like a real ticket. I won't, obviously. But I could. And then there's also these stickers that look like the album from the show slash book, Aurora, with a little track list. And on Friday, as well as the show, the fictional album Aurora is dropping. The fictional album by the fictional band is dropping on Friday. They've really gone all out for the marketing. Those are not the cool things, though. This is the cool thing. This is a Daisy Jones and the Six World Tour tote bag. It says Aurora World Tour 1978-79, Daisy Jones and the Six on the front. And then on the back, it's got like a tour date lineup. And it says Aurora World Tar and the dates and then all the places they went on the tar. For a fictional band who never went on tar. How cool is that? Daisy Jones and Six had a Rolling Stones cover this week. Not a real band. I'm very excited for the show. The book is so good. 
I'm just hoping they don't fuck it up. Like, I'm like, please. The sauce material is so good. Just stick to the sauce material and nothing will go wrong. But these are very cool things that I acquired today because I love me some well-branded merch. A moment, please, for this very sweet beehive bath bomb. Bee. Further update, I assumed the bee was made of bath stuff, but it wasn't. It's a little plastic bee, so now I have, oh, it's wooden? I don't know. Either way, I have another little bee trinket to add to my collection of trauma bees. Rare aesthetic slash moment of honesty for the vlog. I'm so anxious tonight that I'm, like, shaking. And I can't shake it. I've been, like, <laughs> I can't shake it. I've been, like, meditating and writing and, like, sitting in a dark room for, like, hours now since I got out of the bath. And I just can't, like, beat it and, like... I'm going on like an ongoing journey at the moment with my anxiety because it was gone for a really long time and then it came back a few months ago. But like, I'm like, she's trembling. I said in the past I didn't want to lie on these vlogs. I don't know if I'll include this clip, but I'm not doing the best at the moment. I think it's just an overwhelming time for me. I've got so much exciting life stuff happening and, um, I'm just figuring it out. That's fine. So hmm, maybe saying this out loud has helped a bit. No, probably not. I'm working tomorrow. I can't sleep when I'm like this. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm just watching YouTube videos of Trixie and Katia to try and calm myself. But it's not working. So this is the Wednesday update. I don't know. Oh, my sister just texted me something supported as I was filming, so that helps. Good morning, vlog. It's World Book Day. I'll show you my costume in a moment when I put it all together. I'm Heartstopper again. Hi, vlog. Heartstopper. I stole this pippy long stocking. Joao. A flaming homosexual. Joao's a flaming homosexual. I <laughs> am having flashbacks to my high school days. It doesn't help this is a suit jacket I wore at Oxford. We love World Book Day. We love books. Astral always poses when I get the camera out. Get out, get out right now. <laughs> the levels of tomfoolery. Which Heartstopper character am I? I think I'm the homophobic bully. You did my last shift with Astral. Yay! I never have to work with her again. You are gonna be so, stop lying, you're so upset. She's a little bit of an icon, a small amount of an icon. Look at my ballet outfit. She's going to ballet and I'm still working. <laughs> It's hell in here. Good morning vlog. I went to bed last night at like 9.30. Something has hit me this week. I'm not thriving. Um, but Charlotte is home, which is good. So when Charlotte's back from doing nails, I'll probably try and spend some time with Charlotte. I just need to get my head into a headspace where I can like socialize for a long period of time. Um, but I'm watching Daisy Jones and the Six. The first three episodes just dropped on episode three. And it's really, really good so far. A lot of the early reviews were kind of sus about the show, like not solid, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm not that much of a purist when it comes to book adaptations. Like, I don't really mind things getting changed for the sake of it being a TV show rather than a book, because I appreciate that, like, a book and a TV show are so different that it's impossible to just transpose pages onto screen. So I'm really enjoying it, but it, it's only the first three episodes, so maybe it goes totally left in the next couple of weeks. Anyways, I also just found out one of my favourite publishers is doing open submissions right now for fiction and poetry, and I have so many poetry collections that I have not had published that um, are almost ready. So I'm going to spend the day after I've done Daisy Jones and the Six uh, putting together a collection to submit to them, which is good. I think I have a little while. I'm not in a mad rush to get that done, but I'm going to work on that today. Be creative. Then I'm working over the weekend, working Monday. I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then my last shift at Watstones is next Friday, a week today, which is absolutely mental. So that's life right now. I wonder how unhinged it is when I'm putting together a collection. Um, I'm working on a collection for this, well, I'm reworking a collection I'd already worked on for this submission thing, uh, about 50 poems, probably going to be about 52, and I have all the poems for it in vague orders, and then I'm putting them into a track list, like I'm a musician, by theme, youth, trauma, gender, and then we're going to probably sex and alcohol, recovery and art are probably going to be the other themes. I am losing my mind staring at these words on this page and remembering which poem is which, but we're getting there. Halfway done. Okay, I lied. There's 67 poems, um, but they're split into themes now. Youth, trauma, gender, bad habits, breakdown, recovery, and on writing. 
Um, I'm going to put this through together into a Word document right now, but this is a monolith. These are all poems I already had in mind for one collection together that I'd already been working on, that I knew I needed to rework, and this deadline has given me motivation to do that. So, oh, and the collection's called Alone at the End of the World, by the way. Uh, yeah. Update, it's done. And I have made a 20 poem sample and submitted that, but the whole collection is done. There are 72 pages, 5,714 words of poetry in this document, and I cannot believe this is how I spent my day. This is not what I thought I'd be doing when I woke up. But I do feel very productive, which is a good thing, so slay for me on this dreary Friday. Charlotte's home. Again. It always feels like I've... <laughs> Just been back, but... <laughs> if you watch the vlogs, we could track how often you've been back. Yesterday, someone invited me to something after work, and I used you as an excuse, because you were oh, home. Yes. And I was like, my sister's home. Are they going to watch this? Probably. Oh. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> but it was the truth. Jenny was like, you sit. You always say your sister's home when you don't want to do things. And I was like, no, my sister's just home. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to watch something. She's got her nails done. Nails. Nail That's reveal. so pretty. <gasps> pretty. Kind of nails it... in the game. Yeah, kind of. Kind of same family. Well, it's pink, so... It's, obviously. like, the nice version and the, like, slutty older version. <laughs> we're... Also. <laughs> um, we're going to watch something. Quality time with Charlotte. How long are you home for? Till Monday morning. Oh, slay. You'll see more of her this vlog, then. Read Charlotte's tarot, and it, the action from the tarot deck told her to work hard, so she's choosing to ignore it. I'm and not saying choosing it's to boring. ignore it, but I'm just like... Yeah, duh. <laughs> I don't think that's how tarot works. Anyways, I did a tarot reading, and it told me I'm overthinking things way too much, and I need to stop getting worked up over little things. Really so I will be ignoring that, because that doesn't sound anything oh, like sorry, me. Oh, sorry, sorry, what is that? I, it doesn't sound anything like me. I'm delusional. I'm working all weekend, good morning vlog. That's all. Oh. Here we go. Today's fit is so summery. Flowers. It's so cold outside, and it's going to snow. It's my break. I'm on the hunt for the Daisy Jones in the six mile. I was at the HMV, I couldn't find it, but they were literally playing the album over the speakers. So I don't know if I'm being stupid, but I'm going to another record shop. Fingers crossed. Actual record shop was successful, thank God. Bag secured. I'm on my break, I need to go eat. But I also knew I had to go find that album today, so that is a win. Home from work and my Aurora vinyl slipcase is now on my wall above Taylor Swift. I love fictional bands. Daisy Jones in the Six, you'll always be famous even if you're not real. Girlies, it's Saturday, tomorrow's the last day of the week, I'm working. This vlog has been very boring because I have just not been thriving at all. I do not know what's going on, I wish I could pinpoint it. This is, it's free fall this week. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight, I, I want to write, I want to write the novel, but I just don't know if I'm in the headspace, so I might just sleep, I don't know. Yeah. Skip this vlog. <laughs> I should put a warning at the start of this vlog that's like, skip this vlog, it's not even worth it. Not even worth the watch. Um, but yeah, next week will be more interesting. I have... Um, there's some life stuff happening that's going to make next week more interesting. Uh, and the week after that too. And the week after that, I start my new job. So that's good. That is good. That's good. Focus on the big picture. Focus on the long term. So close to a very exciting new time. So that's what I'm trying to zap into, I guess. Good morning vlog. I went to Black Sheep. Trick of the trade, right? Just be nice to yourself. I am having a horrible time, so I went and got my favourite coffee, although I'm feeling a bit better today. I think I might be kicking it, but I'm at work. I'm at work today and tomorrow. This is the last day of the vlog, the most volume vlog I ever made. Slay. Girlies, the serotonin this Daisy Jones on the Six tote bag is giving me, like, I don't care what's going on in my real life. It's the 70s. I'm listening to Aurora by Daisy Jones on the Six. Like, why would I be stressed? Oh. Hi, vlog. I finished work and I came for a drink with my family who just had an entire meal without me. You have anything to say for yourselves? I don't, I don't bother Really nice. Them. Your pudding was great. Off, Dad. That is so rude. What did you say? This is how it feels to be the least favourite child. Bye. And now I'm home and that is the end of my week. Uh, as I said, very uneventful vlog. Literally going to title it uh, Don't Bother Watching This or something like that because it's funny. Um, yeah, uneventful week because I've just been going through it. I feel a little bit better today. I'm on my way out of it, I think. I think the storm is passing. Um, it happens. It's just life sometimes. That's the thing. But I really tough on myself when I'm in bad places because I'm like, oh no, I'm falling apart. Which is not the truth. So, see you next week for a better week, I'm sure. Because it's my last shifts at Waterstones. Yeah. Love you all. That's all.